Kid Cosmic is the newest cartoon from Craig McCracken on Netflix. I was wondering how long it would take him or other Cartoon Network creators to make something on Netflix. And apparently, this is something that Craig has been wanting to make for a while. He posted some sketches on Twitter that were from, like, 2009. And I gotta be honest, from the first trailer I saw of it, I wasn't really feeling it that much. It was something about the style, and the music especially, that just didn't really hit with me. But after watching the entire season, I actually really enjoyed it. The plot is about these stones of power that our main character, Kid, finds in the desert on this crashed alien spaceship. And throughout the first few episodes, he and some others find out the power of the stones and what they do. Kid's stone can fly. Joe, who is a teen who works at a diner, her stone makes portals. Rosa is a toddler who can get gigantic. Papa G, who looks after Kid, uh, he can make clones of himself. And then finally, there's Tuna Sandwich, a cat, who can see the future. And there's also this alien named Chuck, voiced by Tom Kenny, that explains to them that everybody in the galaxy wants these stones. So they have to protect Earth from these alien invaders. The show seems very episodic at first, but then it gets more story-driven. There's actually an episode early on that shows sort of those episodic adventures that they would go on. It was a very smart way to sort of fast-forward to the story-driven stuff. The animation, I would say, is very reminiscent of Wander Over Yonder, though I think it looks even better here. And like I said, I wasn't really digging the look at first from the trailer, but after watching it, I think the subdued color palette actually works really well with it being set in the desert. I'm still not that big of a fan of the musical style they chose, though. It's something about that indie punk sound that I just don't really like that much. And there is one problem I kind of run into with Craig's cartoons past Powerpuff Girls, and that's the annoying main character. Blue from Fosters, Wander from Wander Over Yonder, and now Kid from Kid Cosmic. I found him very annoying in the first half of the show. All of those characters I mentioned, it takes a while for you to get used to them. And eventually, if you do stick with the show, you do learn to like them. It happened to me with Wander and Wander Over Yonder, and it happened to me with Kid and Kid Cosmic. Blue sucks though. Blue Regard sucks. You're a bad person, Blue. All of the other characters though, I do like. Even the side characters that are in this can get a laugh out of me, even though there's really not that many people in the town. There are only 10 episodes in this first season, and at the end, I thought they were just going to keep it at that. But they do pull something very interesting in the last episode that has me excited to where they're going to go with the next season. So if you have liked Craig McCracken's previous cartoons, I think you will like this one as well. So if you have seen Kid Cosmic, tell me down in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye!